Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Alliance War video. So in this video here, I'm going to do two wars together, just because I was on holiday at the time, um, when these were happening. So XK9 first and foremost here. So these are currently, at the time of this alliance, our major sort of competitors in terms of uh, wins and losses. So got the assignments here, uh, again, using two five stars. So we do still have some relevant champions in the game at that level. And you see it's Magic and Quake as well, alongside this Warlock here. So when this war starts, and a few hours into this war, is when I'm just like landing and sort of traveling around a little bit to um, get to the holiday destination that I was going to. And you can see here that I, I took like three hours or whatever to join. Now I'm going to be starting on path one and myself and an alliance mate kind of need to move together in some form of unison quite quickly to be able to clear this for everybody else and get it to the point where we're happy. So I'm just going to be boosting up here and getting my masteries right. So when we started this war, we figured out it was um, XK9. The officers did politely ask everybody to um, to boost big to be ready for this war and to sort of try and put us in a really good position for the season, and for the season even. So this is what I was doing in section one. Uh, I know what people are thinking, why am I using tech boost when I'm about to fight Hyperion? The answer is it's not for this fight, it's for the next one, is to make it a little bit quicker, but I thought I may as well apply them now. Um, I know they won't work because he's cosmic and the class disadvantage doesn't work. But with this having the node that it does, obviously this Hyperion is going to be regenerating health anyway. With with all without willpower. So the moment the infection kicks in, the regen will be reversed, they'll start to lose a little bit of power. And I can understand in a way this placement because of how many uh regen buffs they get in here. So the thing is with infection you can see is it drops off really, really quick. Uh, based on how many buffs the defender has when you sort of like get the infection active. So because of how many he has, it does take a little bit more time. But you're going to see here that he gets, he's on the six Furies and within 40 seconds this fight's done. So that's just that one and I'm going to wait a second for my alliance friend to join to start clearing a few of their fights and then I'm going to come back for this invisible woman. So you can see here about 20 minutes later, I log back on, sat in the pub just by the beach. Um, going to do these fights now just to start getting myself moving. And again, XK9 move quick. They, um, they're very well organized. So if we can kind of put a few fights in early and put maybe a little bit of pressure on them. They might struggle a little bit. But yeah, these um, these wars just are, are the close ones. So there, I purposely try not to trigger dexterity and also to just get rid of her shield. I can't believe I only left it on 1% there. That's just my uh, typical look. So parry to get the masochism. Now I can get the armor break on. You can see this instantly straight back to another special two. So I'm just going to throw another combo, throw another special two, and less than 30 seconds, this invisible woman's dead with what? And then just waiting here now for my uh, bar group friend to clear the mana thing for me. So I'm going to change my masteries just quite quickly here. And then be ready to go and fight this long shot. The basic plan that they asked me to do, just to be extra safe in this, was just to take off dexterity. So that's just what you see in here. Although the mastery screen at the minute is terribly um, slow and buggy. Which, you know, is, uh, is always what you want to see. So here, just trying to pull Limbo on, you can see it's just not moving at all. Which is nice, because you know, Three minute boost, don't pause for this, and all your other boosts and time doesn't pause. So you just sat here waiting and wasting all your 
um, your good fortunes. So you see here again, I'm purposely not fast forwarding anything like this, just because I think something needs to be done. You can see that the, the state of the game, so many people are suffering from uh, disconnects and there was a few disconnects um, in this war not just from like from us sort of thing but from uh, xk92 now i know they had a few fights where they ended on like one or two percent and very very close to death so again they got quite lucky with some of the attacker kills by the look of things but then they got screwed by um disconnects as well so it's unfortunate but it just seems to be the the position that everybody's in right now and you see there i look at my boost and i've got like so little time left, so I'm just trying to rush to get into this long shot as quick as I can. Uh, plan is to just obviously power lock them with magic special two, and have a have an easy fight and an easy life. So with me having half suicides on, being huge boosted, this was a good way to kind of judge exactly how much power back you sort of will get with magic from this master is in this boost and looking at it now i don't think it's crazy crazy different for the most part here i just tried to give him a little bit more power so that every time i drain them going forward i'll be stealing more power naturally from them but longshot obviously has his normal weird ability to steal power from you stealing power it's weird but magic obviously has him power lock so you don't need to worry about that and you can see the, the, the damage is pretty good with what, 45 seconds in just over. And he's already down to basically a quarter health. And magic's just so safe. Like she, if you get hit, you're gonna be in trouble because she's a five star and the health pool won't be too high. But if you can just lock a fight down like that, then she's, yeah, she's crazy safe. And we're going to move up to this Nova here and uh, just back out ready for our alliance mate to uh, to take that down. So now, turn dexterity back on before I forget. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to do what other alliance mates' mistakes have done in the past. Forget to turn it back on and then uh, get hurt by the fight. So coming to section two now, I've been given path seven. And again, this is Penny Parker on Spite. So this is going to be a Quake fight and I will kind of sim this forward and skip it forward until uh, this fight's done. So yeah, as you can see there, Penny Parker goes down pretty easily with um, with Quake. And now what I'm going to be doing is using Warlock on this Domino to be able to clear this. So I put my tech boost on again. And I'm just going to try and fly through this, have an indestructible on just to make sure that she does decide to go weird with her AI and constantly like throw attacks and stuff into my block. Then I'm going to be able to deal with that. Uh, because she'll be getting power, so if she gets a special freeze, it's not going to be a guaranteed death. And as soon as I get to the special twos, hopefully, for the most part, I'm going to be able to rinse and repeat them. And that should kill this um, this Domino, who's a very beloved champion and defender of mine. 
until obviously you're fighting her and you get screwed over by the RNG, then everybody hates her again. But you're going to see here, this is pretty clean for the most part. Uh, here I'd kind of just be a bit more cautious because of the lucky. I missed a few parries where I thought I was going to get them in here just because of where the power bars were standing. I did that and you see here I realised at this point that they do have uh, willpower on. But we throw, that, we throw that other special two there and I mean it was now dead. So with this XK9 war that only leaves me with one more fight. And that's going to be on um, mini boss island. So I'm going to be given the uh, special two mini boss. So you'll see that now it, it opened up for me a little bit later on in the day. Got just over an hour, an hour and a half left on these boosts. I had these six hour boosts. And now these mystic boosts is going to be, as you've seen before, just a kind of rinse and repeat magic fight but this time i won't be taking dexterity off and i'll kind of just let this video play out and uh, show you how the mini boss island went So as you can see, the fight's going pretty nicely. Um, Symbiote's power locked, nothing to worry about. I'm not going for any stand-up intercepts just because the AI is uh, acting a little bit weird nowadays. But Magic's just absolutely flying through this fight and there you go, she finishes it. So it was what, a 40 second fight? Uh, 40 second fight even, got fights on the head. So. You can see here the battle group actually managed to donut theirs, so it's 50-0 for us, 51 for them. And then there's an alliance, we managed to just drop one death to them overall in the 150, so that's pretty good. Good luck to XK9 for the rest of the season, um, but our war, and especially our war against them for the season, unless we rematch and the final one is now done. And then this is when I'm on holiday still, this next war here against PBT. So I only get given uh, one fight just because... Of real life stuff getting in the way, I can't really help that. I needed to uh, be away from the game. So they literally just gave me one fight and then told me that I needed to uh, apply a couple of pre fights just when I could pick up my phone and obviously I can walk around and talk and whatever else doing the uh, pre fights. So at this point, I'm just trying to find my, uh, my highest available star rated Odin, which is the five star, because I don't currently have them as a six star yet. And for this war, I only have, like I said, one fight. And that's path six on the, uh, I think it's the spiked armor node, yeah. Against Killmonger here. So, quick fight with, well, seemed kind of like a quick fight with Archangel. But a little bit annoying at the same, the same time. And I'll just let this play out. But yeah, basically just play around the deja vu with a, a, a medium and a heavy or a medium light and then hopefully my RNG is pretty good and I can just shred the fight quick. But it's Archangel, it's my luck, so the RNG is never, ever, ever in my favour. Thank you. 
So you can see here, basically a minute into the fight, and it's finally over. My part of the war, so you can see the game's updated now, so you've got that new, like, tactic thing, which is weird. But, again, the battle group managed to donut uh, their battle group, and as an alliance, again, um, we only dropped one death. So, it's uh, it's unfortunate, but we're um, we're doing really well. So, good luck to PBT for the rest of the season. And that's both of these wars done for now, and we're currently in the middle of the war against New Nation for the rematch.